Now, good morning, Northwest. Snowy, slushy, and messy roads. We will take you out live for a look at your morning drive. And we're seeing a break, but it's not going to last very long in the active weather. we got more snow on the way. We'll show you who's going to get slammed for the start of the weekend. And we're tracking the latest details in the search for the U of I killer. What we've learned from investigators about the release of body camera footage, a car in question, and quelling rumors. You're watching Good Morning Northwest here on 4 News Now. Good morning and thanks for being with us. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Friday, December 9th. Matt Gray filling in for Mark Peterson this morning. Let's get a look at that first alert forecast. Yeah, that's right. And after a snowy night last night, we are seeing a little bit of a break now, which is a good thing. We got a chance to kind of regroup a little bit because the next snowstorm is already on the way. In fact, we're already seeing at least a couple of showers trying to get themselves going over the Cascades. Mostly we are sitting in the 20s right now. 25 now down on the West Plains, 29 in Coeur d'Alene. As you work your way into the heart of Spokane Valley, it's right about 30 degrees, and that's what we're seeing generally around the region, although it is very, very cold in Winthrop this morning. We're back down to one below zero. Our morning drive, because we saw all that snow around the evening commute last night, there will be some slick and slippery spots, especially out on the side roads. Also some areas of patchy fog, especially as you get on to the higher benches. As we headed to Saturday and that storm really gets going, we got a weather alert day for northeastern Washington into the North Idaho Panhandle. Basically, most areas north of Interstate 90 where that snow is going to show up and it is going to cause a lot of problems, especially on Saturday morning. We'll take you through the timeline coming up. And as for this morning, we are seeing some slushy and icy streets after that snow yesterday. Now, while the snow has stopped, this could still mean your morning commute will be slippery in some places. Destiny Richards is out live with a look at the roads for us this morning. Destiny. That's right. Right now we are on South Argonne Road going south towards Trent and I-90. And this is one of the better main roads that I've seen. You can actually see the lanes, see the pavement. And um, I would say that most of the main roads that are good right now are the ones that are hills that are, um, you know, major roadways. But we are seeing some snow covered roads down the side roads um, on some of the main roadways. Um, so it's really just hit or miss throughout the Spokane area this morning. We have seen plows out. That is extremely good news especially ahead of the next snowstorm that's coming our way. So again, just make sure you have that first alert weather app so that we can keep you updated on the changing conditions. But again, we're not dealing with that snow falling this morning, so it's we're going on the upswing. The plows are going to be out and treating these roadways. But again, if you're leaving early this morning right now, just be careful because those slick conditions are still out there. Reporting live in Spokane, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now. All right, Destiny, thank you. With the fresh snow, the Department of Transportation wants to remind you to slow down around snowplows. Yeah, a truck that was hit earlier this week is being repaired, should be back on the road soon. Here are photos of the damage after that crash. The Department of Transportation says the plow was rear-ended while slowing down to turn. The driver of the pickup had some minor injuries. That plow should be back on the streets by early next week. The DOT asks that you help plow stay in service by slowing down around crews and do not pass the plow. And when there is a weather alert day, don't forget to go to KXLY.com to check out the very latest winter weather advisories as well as school delays and closures. We have a lot of delays going on right now, mostly to the west of Spokane. That does include Freeman. Um, anything you need to know to plan your day, you can find it on KXLY.com. Police continue searching for the person who murdered Kay Kaylee Gonsalves, Madison Mogan, Ethan Chapin and Zana Kernodal. Moscow police have released body camera footage that now has many people asking questions related to the investigation. Sydney Charles is live at the Breaking Now desk with a few of those answers from MPD. Sid. Derek, tips and leads have led detectives to a 2011 to 2013 white Hyundai Elantra. And in the new body camera footage, white vehicles are seen in the video. However, detectives say that the nearby white vehicles are not related to the murders. Listen to this. And there is, in fact, a white vehicle in that footage, but we want people to know that that is not the vehicle we're seeking information about. 4 News now also asked about rumors circulating the man seen in this video with Maddie and Kaylee just hours before they were murdered, left the country without submitting DNA. This is what police had to say. Really, our focus right now is looking for information on this white vehicle. All the information we've released previously is available on our website. Um, 
stuff like that, information like that, that's part of the ongoing investigation. But no comment as if that's factual. Police still ask everyone to help look for this car and keep calling in tips as police track down leads and try to find a killer. And in their latest update, MPD says tip line calls will now be directed to an FBI call center. This change is due to the volume of calls with tips and leads coming in about that white car. MPD says, quote, please be aware that this new call process takes patience on behalf of the caller and there are some prompts to follow. Remember, your tip may be the key to solving this case. And many people are asking how the body camera footage was obtained. Moscow PD says the videos are accessible through a public records request process. If you're interested in seeing the full footage, a link to the request process can be found on the city of Moscow's official website, case number 22M0, M O, excuse me, 9896. Reporting in the studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. There has been an arrest in a pair of armed robberies in the heart of downtown Spokane. Spokane police tell us they've arrested a juvenile in connection to both of those crimes, and they are now facing robbery and assault charges. Detectives say the first robbery was at Riverfront Park near the Blue Bridge on Howard Street, where the robbers used a gun. The second came 30 minutes later on Main and Post, right near P.F. Chang's. In that case, police say they use a knife to threaten the victim. Both the Downtown Spokane Partnership and SPD will double their security efforts in the weeks ahead. In light of these incidents and with more people downtown for the holiday season, the Downtown Partnership has extended its security ambassador hours until 8 p.m. on Wednesdays through Saturdays. The SPD says their downtown officers will be spending more time walking through the riverfront area the eyes and ears of our community and uh, if there are any concerns come up they're quick to help address those concerns or report them on as necessary. We like to be out and about, be at visible presence, make contact with the community, talk with people, but certainly um, this incident has created an impetus to even uh, redouble those efforts. Police say they are still looking for others who are involved in those robberies. Good morning, Northwest Time is now seven minutes after six o'clock. All right, we're turn things back over to Matt Gray with, uh, all right, we got snow coming in tomorrow. How much are we talking about here? So we're talking about basically a repeat of kind of what we saw last night around the metro. However, you head further north and we're talking about a lot more snow that is really going to slow things down, especially because it's going to be on top of all the other snow that hasn't melted over the past couple of weeks. So we have, uh, we have a pretty sloppy start to the weekend ahead. That we're going to track it out for you coming up. A Democratic senator says she's leaving her party, why Kirsten Cinema is becoming an independent, and what that means for the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Are you looking for a credit card with rewards? Well, we've made it simple. Get 1.5% unlimited cash back on purchases. So go on, reward yourself with the Premier Rewards MasterCard from P1FCU. A 4 News Now weather alert day. Because of the high impact that this snow is going to have. 29 school delays and closures already. Trust 4 News Now to keep you safe on air, online, and on the app. That's what we mean when we say expect more. I like doing the flippy thing. Can't stop now. We're forecasting a fun Friday. This one is so big. With Ginger Z. When I'm in a hurricane, my older one, he'll be like, but how strong was it? Next, Rachel. Watch Rachel today at 3 and 4 News Now at 5. The icy winds of winter are here. Don't get left out in the cold without a reliable vehicle. Brave the elements with a lifted truck, diesel truck, or go anywhere SUV from Northwest Motorsport. Whether you're heading up to the slopes or just traveling through a mountain pass, you need a vehicle that can handle the icy conditions. Don't spin out and go for an unplanned off-road adventure into the ditch. Stay in control with trucks, trucks, and more trucks from Northwest Motorsport. Tis the season to get great gifts for the fun outdoors from the adventure pros at Shred. It's no wait, skate, it's time to ride. From summer to winter, nobody has better toys to choose from with the top name brands in the industry. Plus, you can also get custom fitted in a new pair of boots or get decked out in a new pair of shades. Whatever you need, Shred's got it. Making them a one-stop shop for your Christmas needs. Happy holidays from Shred. 
Bymart's latest savings book is out now and filled with 20 pages of great store-wide savings. Inside, you'll find great savings in every department, including a 55-inch 4K Philips TV for just $299.99 in electronics and 30% off all socks and slippers in clothing. Plus, don't forget to pick up a Bymart gift card. They're the perfect stocking stuffer. Our employee owners are bringing you more Christmas savings and value every day this holiday season. Bymart, where your membership matters. Are you looking for a credit card with rewards? Well, we've made it simple. Take advantage of 0% APR on new purchases for six months. So go on, reward yourself with a Premier Rewards MasterCard from P1FCU. All right, we're back with some breaking news from a U.S. Senator, Senator Arizona's Kirsten Sinema is leaving the Democratic Party and registering as a political independent, breaking the news to CNN's Jake Tapper in an exclusive interview. Yeah, Sinema told Tapper that she is never fit neatly into any party box, saying, I've never really tried, I don't want to. Sinema's move away from the Democratic Party is unlikely to change the power balance in the next Senate. Democrats will have a narrow 51 to 49 majority. That includes two independents who caucus with them, Senators Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Angus King of Maine. Cinema declined to say she would do the same, but does expect she will keep her committee assignments, a signal that she doesn't plan to upend the Senate composition. Also new this morning, as expected, the House passed the Respect for Marriage Act, codifying federal protections for same-sex and interracial marriages. The bill now heads to President Biden's desk, where he is expected to sign it. More than 70% of Americans support same-sex marriage. Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers voted against the act, as did Idaho's Russ Fulcher. The bill was fast-tracked following Justice Clarence Thomas suggesting the court reconsider rulings like same-sex marriage. As we get ready to start the weekend, we're going to get a break today in between storm systems, a chance to do a little bit of shoveling before that snow builds up, especially north of I-90 as we go through Saturday morning. Damaged outbuildings are all that's left of at one property in East Spokane. The Spokane Fire Department says that fire was intentionally started by somebody Wednesday night. It happened just blocks from Camp Hope and business owners nearby say they're dealing with a number of issues from vandalism to break-ins. Steve Liberty, the owner of Liberty Tire Pros, says he's seen an increase in criminal activity at the empty lot across from his store and he blames the people living at the homeless camp. With that, for quite a while. A couple of the buildings before we bought them had that same exact thing. We had, once we bought them, we had to go in there and kick people out of them. The Spokane Fire Department will review camera footage and follow up on tips in this investigation. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 612. Some area roads are in decent shape, others not so much. We will take you out there and show you what you will be dealing with on your drive in real time. And you've probably heard about multiple health crises facing the country. Some health experts are calling it a triple-demic. Now, a fourth condition is throwing another medical curveball to people in at least one state will explain. And there's something special like exchanging hands at Spokane's very own Hobbit House. How you can visit and make a trade coming up a little later on Good Morning Northwest. Lookout Pass has doubled with 500 more acres, 14 new trails, and a second quad lift. We still have the best powder and we're still the most affordable. As low as $52 for adults and $42 for youth. Visit SkiLookout.com for more. With winter fast approaching, Finley Downtown Toyota has you covered with a great selection of pre-owned SUVs and trucks. And if your current vehicle needs a tune-up or tires, <laughs> just make a phone call and we'll hook you up. Finley Toyota's Downtown. It's here once again, an adventure in Coeur d'Alene with family and friends. Trees will light up, snow will fall, while you're dining, shopping, and having a ball. Santa and STCU hid elves in secret spots. So keep an eye out, you could win lots. If you find our elf on a shelf while in downtown Coeur d'Alene, a Fig Pickles shopping spree, Seahawks tickets, or gift cards you could gain. So explore downtown shops like never before. Go to cdadowntown.com if you want to learn more. Tis the season for big mattress savings during the year-end clearance sale at Walker's. Find comfort and joy on a new Beautyrest Black Mattress or save big on hot buys starting at $398. Plus get year-end savings on select Tempur-Pedic mattresses or say yes to five years no interest, no minimum purchase, no money down. Plus get $300 of free furniture with your Serta or Beautyrest purchase. Make it a season to remember during the year-end clearance mattress event at Walker's.
Hello, I'm Diamond Dan Clark. And I'm Jeweler Jane. And, and we're, we're from, from Clark's Diamond, Diamond Jewelers, Jewelers in beautiful, beautiful downtown Coeur d'Alene. Our famous snow promotion is back for Christmas. If it snows five inches or more in 24 hours on January 7th, 2023, all purchases made at Clark's between November 19th and December 31st will be refunded in full. And that means all engagement rings, loose diamond and gemstones, jewelry and gifts could all be free. Shop Clark's Diamond Jewelers this Christmas and let it snow diamonds. Remote car starts, new high-performance lighting, cool new rims and tires, and great prices on speakers, amps, and subwoofers. If you're looking for the best Christmas gift ideas, then go to the pros at Snow's. I'm Mark Peterson, the extreme team at Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an extreme team makeover, go to kxoi.com to nominate it. More News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. All right, here we go. Listen very carefully. That's a sharpening of a knife. Yes! This is the first one Kelly's gotten correct this millennia. That's Kelly. Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. Lookout Pass has doubled. 500 more acres, 14 new trails, and a second quad lift. We still have the best powder, and we're still the most affordable. On Bring a Friend Thursdays at Lookout Pass, get two full-day lift tickets for just 75 bucks. Visit SkiLookout.com. 4 News Now is brought to you by Chihuahua Casino. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Welcome back. The triple demic is taking hold across the country. Flu cases are soaring. Los Angeles County has returned to a high COVID level, and doctors in Ohio are now working to contain a measles outbreak. ABC's Ike Jachi has more. Our hospital is full, our ICU is full, and that is scary because we know that there are sick kids out there. The so-called triple-demic is hammering hospitals across the country. Rising rates of COVID-19, flu, and other respiratory viruses flooding hospitals with sick children. Our pediatric floors and our ICUs have been full all across the country and in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles County, new cases of COVID-19 have risen 40% in just one week. The city now designated a place of high transmission by the CDC. Officials are calling for people to take precautions even if masks haven't been made mandatory yet. We do appreciate that more people are masking indoors and using strategies such as testing and staying home when they're sick. In New York, 80% of adult hospital beds are full, the highest peak since the Omicron surge. And flu and RSV cases are driving those numbers even higher. Overnight, the FDA clearing the way for children as young as six months to get the enhanced COVID booster. Vaccination is the best way we know to help prevent the serious outcomes of COVID-19. And for some families, it's not one illness or the other. Eliana James was rushed to the hospital this week after breaking out in a 104 degree fever. Getting in the middle of nowhere on the side of the road and your daughter's having a seizure not knowing what to do. She was diagnosed with both COVID-19 and RSV and spent four days in the hospital. What about if her fever spikes up again and she goes into another seizure or she gets like sicker? For parents in Ohio, there's a fourth growing threat, measles. Officials say at least 63 children are being treated for the virus with more than two dozen in the hospital. Ike Jachi, ABC News, New York. Not great. Oh. Not great at all. Uh, here is your live look over downtown Spokane. Of course, you're looking at the park there. Um, some of the roads are slick as you head out and about. You know, the main arterials, the freeway, looking pretty good, at least on our drive-in. Yep, yep. Destiny has been kind of all over the place here mm -hmm. uh, already today and going to give us a look at some of those area roads right now. Yeah, I actually wanted to give you guys a quick look at I-90 right now going east, just going into Liberty Lake now, and you won't have to deal with any problems on the highway. It's really just those main roads in town that are, again, hit or miss, snow covered. You might see pavement, um, but also um, if you're leaving early this morning when it's still dark, there could be slush on the road, but you don't see it. So that's also something to be careful of. And of course, those neighborhood streets and side streets are still snowy. We've been seeing plows out, so they should take care of that pretty soon. 
Destiny, thank you so much. And as you did see, her windshield wipers, they're going. Yep. It's still a little drizzly or something. Yeah, there's been a little flurry, drizzle kind of situation. We saw some of that earlier this week. So once again, areas that have snow already, you put some crust on top of that on the side roads, and then you're struggling to get out of the parking yep. spot, right? So those are the things that we got to deal with as we head through this morning. Otherwise, it's going to be a cloudy day. We have dropped down into the 20s, and that's likely crusting up a lot of those side roads as we were right around 34, 32 earlier this morning as the morning commute now gets going. Also looking for some areas of patchy fog, especially as you work your way out into the West Plains and some of the higher benches. Our temperature's not going to move all that much today. In fact, I expect us, especially down to the bottom of the valley, to kind of hover right around 30 degrees, maybe bump up towards 32 in the afternoon. That is about it. Some areas further north, places like Omac, Colville, and Winthrop will be only seeing highs in the 20s today but you can see most of us kind of pop up into the 30s at least for a little bit. So once we get through today and we head into tonight, that's when the snow begins to return and it's going to be a sloppy looking Saturday with snow. And then a lot of us are going to actually flip over to rain at least for a little bit with the second storm coming in. You can already see over on the coast starting to see some pickup on the radar as that comes in. And so as early as say six, seven o'clock, places like Wenatchee, Moses Lake, Omac, the Methow Valley, going to start to see that snow moving in. If you are planning to head over to the west side this weekend, got to watch those passes for Friday night. As we head into the late hours of the night, that is when the snow is going to fall around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Once again, going to be very similar to what we saw last night, but it's going to be at a much earlier hour and a much quieter hour as well. And by the time we're getting up in the morning, well, we're already going to be flipping over to rain, so you might not notice all that much of a difference. I mean, just a little bit slushier than it will be when you're getting up this morning. Meanwhile, look at this further north. This is where the problems are going to be. Places like Omac, Republic, Colville, Chihuahua, Newport, Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint, all the way up to Medellin Falls, because we are going to see it stay mostly snow for the majority of the day. And so this should give you kind of a rough idea, this new forecast projection of what we're going to see by the time we get to the end of Saturday. That's why there's winter storm warnings. That's why for those areas north of Spokane, north of Coeur d'Alene, north of Highway 2, we've got that weather alert day for Saturday. It is best to just go ahead, stay home, let the snow fall, and then dig out on Sunday. Except my kids have three basketball games, so we will be oh, out and about. That. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is once you get around the interstate and further south, it's going to be still wintry, but less of an issue. It's those northern valleys that are really yeah. going to have a tough time. And we want to mention Riverside School District is now closed. Lynn Ritzville's on a remote learning day and a whole bunch of uh, delays this morning. You can find it all running at the top of your screen and yep. on KXLY.com. 622 now. It's a big one tonight in the kennel as Gonzaga will take on UW with the state bragging rights on the line. What Mark Few says will have to explain to his Zags about this rivalry and how they'll have to prepare for that Huskies 2-3 zone that's coming up next in sports. Download the 4 News Now app today. Looking for quality and experience? Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic has been providing personalized care to their clients for over 30 years. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, they do it all. With competitive costs and quality service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. This Christmas, if you're looking for exciting gift ideas for every season in the great outdoors, then you got to get to Shred, where we're loaded up with the best gear you can use all year from the adventure pros at Shred. you got to go to Shred. The big New Year's Eve party is at Chawila Casino with three sets of cash drawings. Play your favorite games to earn your entries for your chance to win your share of over $15,000 in cash prizes. And every Saturday, you could earn bonus entries just by playing with your Sun Club card. Party, play, and win on December 31st during our three sets of drawings. Dance in the New Year with cash prizes at Chawila Casino. Learn more at ChawilaCasino.com. For essential security needs at an economical price, there's the AM Series from American Security. Protect cash, valuables, and sensitive documents from theft and fire from the most trusted name in the industry. Two layers of fire protection material earns the popular AM Series a 45-minute ETL fire rating, providing peace of mind by protecting people's most valuable possessions. Available at Safe and Vault Store in the Spokane Valley.
The Spokaneites of Spokane are nestling into holiday glee with gifts on their minds, what Santa might bring me. What can I get grandma that isn't ugly dishes? For my uncle, a Traeger, he loves to smoke fishes. My kids now have it all, I just don't understand. Good thing the general store is a toy wonderland. A gift for everyone in one stop, I swear. Carhartt jackets, Yeti coolers, even thermal underwear. No matter the person, how big or how small, there's a gift here for everyone, so come one and come all. With winter fast approaching, Finley Downtown Toyota has you covered with a great selection of pre-owned SUVs and trucks. And if your current vehicle needs a tune-up or tires, just make a phone call and we'll hook you up. Finley Toyota's Downtown. Complete vehicle window tints, new heated seats, and right now when you buy a new stereo head unit, you can get a free set of coax speakers. This Christmas, if you're looking for the perfect gift, then go to the pros at Snow's. We're going to have to buckle down and double down and really, really fight and bring that grit because uh, they're going to want to, uh, they're going to want to obviously compete for a top team in the state. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. Drew Timmy knows what's at stake. Tonight's Gonzaga-Washington game has state bragging rights on the line. The last time Gonzaga and Washington met on the basketball court was 2019, and Drew Timmy was a freshman. Gonzaga's been the top basketball program in the state for a while now, but Washington has a lot of momentum heading into this one. Washington has won four of their last five games, including a win over Gonzaga's rival, St. Mary's. Gonzaga head coach Mark Few knows this one won't be easy. We'll have to explain to them that this is a high emotional game, you know, and these guys have played in about 10 high emotional games already this year, so um, we'll have to sit down, and again, that zone is something you don't face, um, and they're coming off a big win against Colorado. I know that was, that was a, a big win for them, and so I'm sure they're feeling good, and, and they got some nice athletes. They got the Brooks kid from Kentucky. And uh, they got a nice little freshman guard that's scoring it really, really well. And, and uh, uh, you know, they, they do, uh, Hop does a great job teaching that zone. And that's a 6 o'clock tip-off at the Kennel. A Washington State linebacker Dayon Henley was not selected as the Butkus Award winner. Iowa's Jack Campbell took home the trophy. Uh, the Butkus Award is given to the top linebacker in all of college football. Henley was Washington State's first ever Butkus Award finalist. And that will wrap us up for sports. Total stud, Dan Henley. <laughs> if you say so yourself. <laughs> it's now 626. All right, before we head to another break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, One Tree Hill alum Bevan Prince speaking out in her first TV interview about the tragic death of her beloved husband. The couple was boating during the 4th of July weekend when the unthinkable happened. Will was struck by lightning. Bevan left to face a life without the man she calls her soulmate. You've said that this is larger than you. There was a lot of divinity in it. He was 33 years old. It was July 3rd. And I believe the exact time that the lightning struck was 3.13 p.m. So knowing that all the resources were there to potentially save him, I have to believe that something bigger beyond me was calling him. Bevan now focusing on giving back to her community to honor Will's memory. And coming up at 7 a.m., more of our exclusive interview. With your GMA First Look, I'm Arielle Reshef, ABC News, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once daily pill. When UC got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoke. Check. When UC held me back, I got lasting steroid free remission with Rinvoke. Check. And when UC got the upper hand, Rinvoke helped visibly repair the colon lining. lining. Check. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission, and a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how AbbVie could help you save. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 
Save your green! There is still time to give your home a refresh before the new year during the year-end clearance event at More Furniture. Save on styles for every room in your home with remaining doorbusters from our Black Friday event and new furniture arriving daily. It's all on sale for this special year-end clearance event. It's your perfect opportunity to get your home ready for the holidays. Preview all sale specials online at morefurniture.com. Colder weather is here and it's a perfect time to get new Infinity from Marvin fiberglass windows for your home. Residential Home Solutions is proud to give local homeowners a chance to win up to $15,000 worth of the smart choice and energy efficient windows, along with a $2,000 Costco gas and grocery card in our Built for Life sweepstakes. If you are over 18 and a homeowner in the Spokane Coeur d'Alene area, go to residentialhs.com or call 892-6460 to find out how you can enter to win. Residential Home Solutions and Infinity Windows. Home improvements. Custom fit for life. Icy winds of winter are here. Don't get left out in the cold without a reliable vehicle. Brave the elements with a lifted truck, diesel truck, or go anywhere SUV from Northwest Motorsport. Whether you're heading up to the slopes or just traveling through a mountain pass, you need a vehicle that can handle the icy conditions. Don't spin out and go for an unplanned off-road adventure into the ditch. Stay in control with trucks, trucks, and more trucks from Northwest Motorsport. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. All right, we are dealing with some slick conditions out on the roads this morning. While the snow might not be falling anymore, you will still need to be careful when you head out. Yeah, we are giving you live looks throughout the morning, so you know what you're dealing with. Destiny Richards has been out there all morning. Okay, where are you guys now? We are in Spokane Valley now, going south on Sullivan Road. And um, this road, not completely lit up. We've been going down a lot of dark roads this morning, um, obviously because the sun's not up. And this is one of those examples where you can go from a slushy road to bare and wet to slushy again. It's really hard to tell for sure until the sun comes up. So it's really stopping and going at those intersections that you really want to be careful because you can crunch on those brakes. So really just taking your time there. Um, again, side roads are a little bit more covered this morning. So just be aware of that before you head out. And this is not our only snow um, that we dealt with yesterday. We have more on the way later tonight. So get that First Alert weather app downloaded, especially if you have any late night holiday plans, perhaps with your family or friends, um, you want to be prepared. So um, again, we're going to keep giving you some updates a little bit this morning for the rest of the show. Um, for now, reporting live in Spokane Valley, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now. All right, Destiny, thank you so much. Let's get over to Matt Gray filling in for Mark Peterson and our first alert forecast. All right, yes, yeah, just he showed you. Can be a little slick and slushy out there. Take that extra time this morning. Meanwhile, cloudy skies. You can see the commute getting well underway in Coeur d'Alene. Temperatures have sunk down into the 20s. We've got lots of low clouds. You could even see some areas of patchy fog, especially if you get up onto those higher benches. You might be uh, getting into the cloud deck just a little bit across much of eastern Washington. So once again, just take a little bit calmer as we head through this morning with some of those ancillary effects that you will likely see on your morning drive. Now we are taking a break from the snow right now, but it is not going to last for too terribly long. Our chances go up just a little bit as we head into the evening. Most of us though going to stay snow free. It's as we head into the late night and into tomorrow. That's when things start to get a little bit squirrely, especially in our northern counties, northeastern Washington and the North Idaho Panhandle. We've got a weather alert day for you for Saturday. More heavy snow is on the way for the start of the weekend and it is going to be a real mess as we start that Saturday. So we're going to take you through everything you need to know coming up in just a few minutes. Advocates of Camp Hope held a rally outside of Spokane City Hall. Organizers say the rally's purpose is to stand up against the city and county as they wait for a decision from a federal judge to stop law enforcement from clearing the camp. The lawsuit filed against the city and county would protect Camp Hope from a potential sweep, something law enforcement has been warning campers about this week. Attorney Andrew Biviano filed a temporary restraining order to stop a possible sweep. He says they want things to stay as they are for now. We're asking for the court to um, give them that time and not let an arbitrary uh, deadline by law enforcement 
reverse the progress that we're making. Viviano says the best way to do this is by outlining the rights of those at Camp Hope to be living in their homes, even if they're tents. As soon as we hear of a decision, we will let you know here on 4 News Now and on KXOY.com. And for the last few days, law enforcement has been inside Camp Hope handing out those flyers. Now, Spokane City Council is calling an executive session to address it. Some council members say they are worried about the legality of visits from law enforcement. Council President Brian Beggs says the council still doesn't know the exact reason law enforcement went in. He says this meeting was partially to protect city police. If law enforcement were to start removing people, which has not happened yet, that would be illegal without a judge's order. The trigger of talking about this was uh, uniformed and armed officers going into the camp and handing out flyers. And it looked to some people, whether or not, a bit like a dress rehearsal for them coming in and physically removing people, which in my opinion uh, would be uh, very illegal and subject the city to liability. And we did hear back from the Spokane County Sheriff's Office, who says deputies got permission from Washington Department of Transportation to hand out flyers at Camp Hope as long as they were accompanied by a camp manager. Ryan Overton with the DOT confirmed this to 4 News Now, but says officers started to break away once they were inside the camp. And news from the breaking now desk, Brittany Griner is now back on U.S. soil. A plane carrying the WNBA star arrived earlier this morning in San Antonio, Texas. Officials believe Griner is in good health, but as a precaution, she will be checked into an army hospital in San Antonio. Griner spent 10 months behind bars in Russia before being released in a high-profile prisoner swap that involved convicted Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. In February, authorities in a Moscow area airport found Griner with less than a gram of cannabis oil in her luggage. She was later convicted of drug smuggling charges and sentenced to nine years in prison. Sources say the prisoner swap came together in just the last few days. Biden also hoped to secure the freedom of former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, who has been imprisoned in Russia for nearly four years now. A Russian court convicted the former Marine of spying and sentencing him to 16 years in prison. But Russia rejected the proposal, making it clear Whelan's release was not on the table. Secretary of State Antony Blinken insists the U.S. has made every possible offer in an effort to get Whalen out. Meanwhile, Whalen has expressed his frustration. In a CNN interview, the former Marine said that he was greatly disappointed. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. Spokane police have arrested two juveniles in connection to a series of gunshot burglaries. The first smash and grab happened on November 24th at a gun store on East Trent. The next day, there was another burglary at a gun shop on North Green. Spokane schools sent a note to middle school and high school parents this week warning that students may be involved in these burglaries. Police didn't release any further information about the two juveniles already in custody. They say this is an active investigation and they're looking for more suspects. Well, a sign hangs on the fence of a unique home west of downtown Spokane that reads, remember, it was a hobbit so very small who did big things and saved them all. And that is the idea behind the ongoing ornament exchange at the Spokane Hobbit House. More than 100 holiday ornaments have already been exchanged on the fence outside the house, including hobbit-themed ornaments that owners Ryan and Robert have created. Visitors are welcome to stop by and exchange an ornament between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. You are encouraged to take a picture of the ornament you adopt and post it online with hashtag Spokane Hobbit House. That way, people can see where their ornaments end up. There's also a free library and a scavenger hunt at the house. Christmas music plays daily. You can visit the Spokane Hobbit House. It is at 3525 West 2nd Avenue in Spokane. All right. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 638. Matt Gray filling in for Mark Peterson. We have more snow coming up. More snow on the way, and so it is going to be a, uh, a pretty icky start to the weekend. So this is your break. This is how, right now. This is your time to kind of clean things up a little bit for the snow last night. You got a shovel or snow blow, though. Yeah, because it's going to be it's going to be more snow. There's going to be melt. There's going to be ice. There's going to be cold. The weather, which we haven't even talked about too, too much, but we'll get around to it along with the all-important weekend for cast coming up. Four news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Here we grow again. Even more fun is headed to Spokane Tribe Casino. You love Caesar Sportsbook, the Grill and Bar, and larger variety of games we recently added. Gear up for a new food court, a completely smoke-free gaming area, a state-of-the-art entertainment venue, and more. Things just keep getting better. 
You're in for guaranteed Holly Jolly wins of free slot play, gift cards, or up to $1,000 cash. Play the Santa's Workshop kiosk game this December at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. Since 1945, Sturm Heating and Air Conditioning has been serving Spokane and surrounding communities. A lot has changed since 1945, but one thing that hasn't is our mission to nurture long-term relationships with our customers by offering quality products, flat rate pricing, and industry-leading workmanship. And with our 24-7 service, we will get to you anytime, anywhere. Call for a quote today and see for yourself why Sturm is Spokane's first choice for heating and cooling. Or visit SturmHeating.com. A 4 News Now weather alert day. Because of the high impact that this snow is going to have. 29 school delays and closures already. Trust 4 News Now to keep you safe. On air, online, and on the app. That's what we mean when we say expect more. There is still time to give your home a refresh before the new year during the year-end clearance event at More Furniture. Save on styles for every room in your home with remaining doorbusters from our Black Friday event and new furniture arriving daily. It's all on sale for this special year-end clearance event. It's your perfect opportunity to get your home ready for the holidays. Preview all sale specials online at morefurniture.com. Oh, oh, mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. Welcome the best time of year with us at Sage Boutique and Just Because Fashions. Let us help you find the perfect gift for loved ones. Make her holiday sparkle with jewelry that is sure to delight her. Clothing she'll love and brighten handbags that will carry her into the new year. Be inspired to wrap up the holidays with us at Just Because Fashions and Sage Boutique, where you will find the best and brightest gifts this holiday season. Located in the Hayden Creek Plaza in Hayden, Idaho. Right, welcome back. Two power stations in the Portland area have been sabotaged. This coming just more than a week after someone opened fire on a power station in North Carolina, leaving thousands without electricity there. Bonneville Power, one of the companies impacted by the attack in Portland, said, quote, we have confirmed that it was malicious intent. It was no accident. The company says it's stepping up security around its stations for the time being. PGE, Portland General Electric, the other power company whose stations were vandalized, <laughs> said we are actively cooperating with the FBI and cannot at this time share many details about this incident as it is currently under investigation. The FBI will not currently comment either, but the Department of Homeland Security recently sent out a bulletin warning about increased risk of attacks on important infrastructure. Children as young as six months are now eligible to get an updated version of the COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA approved the bivalent Moderna and Pfizer vaccines for babies six months to five years old. These bivalent vaccines fight the original strain of the virus and the latest BA4 and 5 Omicron versions. Well, as we get started with our day, a little slick and slushy, but this day is mostly a break from the active weather. We're going to see some heavy snow up in our northern counties and a slushy mix as we get our Saturday started in most of the inland northwest. All right, Matt, thank you. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 642. Thanks so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on your Friday morning. We're going to take a break and be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. Feel the magic of Christmas at all 13 Walker's locations with big savings of 18 to 40% off. Or say yes to no minimum purchase, no money down, no interest for five years. Making it a season to remember at Walker's. And I don't want the world to see me. Treat yourself with a new all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive Toyota. Get to your destination safely and comfortably with the popular RAV4. Or take that family getaway in a new 4Runner and hit the slopes in style in your new Toyota Highlander. Plus, peace of mind comes standard as every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. So if you need a safe, reliable winter ride, you can find it at Finley. Finley 
This holiday season, the General Store has a gift for everyone. We have a huge selection of name brand toys, clothing, sporting goods, pet supplies, camping gear, hardware, grills, and much more. Get your copy at any of our three locations or visit GeneralStoreSpokane.com to view our biggest gift guide ever. And don't forget to visit our new store in Liberty Lake. Now open, the General Store. We have the fun stuff. This Christmas, if you're looking for exciting gift ideas for every season in the great outdoors, then you got to get to Shred, where we're loaded up with the best gear you can use all year from the Adventure Pros at Shred. You got to go to Shred. It's official. So many people are winning thousands of dollars every day at the Kootenai Casino that we're calling it the Winter of Winning. With Plinko money up for grads in December and Kootenai Falls Lodge Rooms at just $79 weekdays or $99 on weekends, you have better than a snowball's chance for fun. Be part of our Winter of Winning. And book your December getaway by calling 888-YOU-ARE-LUCKY or visit KootenyRiverInn.com. 4 News Now is brought to you by The Tire Store. Here is a live look at quarter till seven um, on your Friday morning. And as we've been talking about those roads, you know, the main ones are in pretty good condition, yeah. but not all. Right. Yeah. A lot of those side streets or in rural areas, you might have mm -hmm. a tough time this morning. Destiny Richards has been out driving all around the area this morning. Where are you at now, Destiny? Well, we are going westbound on Sprague now from Spokane Valley, heading back to Spokane. And um, Sprague right now, we just came across like a light layer of slush over the road, but now we're seeing more snow here. Um, you can see in the light. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the hit or miss snow covered roads that we're seeing on arterials, um, side streets, of course, more snow covered neighborhood streets. Um, but we saw a lot of plows out here in Spokane Valley, four plows in a row on Dishman Micah Road. Um, so they are headed out, they are getting to work this morning. So we are expected to see those conditions improve, but of course, more snow on the way. Um, we'll keep you updated and we'll have Matt with an update on what you can expect with that. I'll send back to you guys. All right, Destiny, thank you so much. And she mentioned it. Let's get right to Matt. He's Let's in for Mark this morning. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Matt. Well, yeah, looking uh, <laughs> slick and slippery, especially at some of the higher benches. We've seen some issues on the West Plains already, some delays as you head further to the West, yeah. where it, there was considerable snow, at least mm -hmm. what you've seen in Central Washington so far this season. So no surprise that things are running a little bit slower as you head West to Spokane. And by the way, it is pretty cold. Only not only in the Mahal Valley, but also with the Waterville Plateau as we get our day started. So lots of slick and slippery and slushy conditions. Got to take that extra time. As Destiny Show. Also, some areas of patchy fog uh, possible as we head for the next few hours, but mostly it is going to be a cloudy and chilly day. We'll get up to right around freezing later this afternoon. We'll see some spots like Colville, like OMAC, that'll only get up into the upper 20s. And that is going to set the stage for the next round of snow to move in tonight. And as a matter of fact, for Northeast Washington and the North Idaho Panhandle, basically areas north of kind of that Highway 2 corridor, all the way to the Canada border, that's where things are not going to be good at all as we head into Saturday morning. And really, it's going to be all of Saturday that this weather alert day will be in effect for those areas. Another way to put it, we got a winter storm warning in these areas, so highlighted in pink. That is where the most nasty conditions with snow and out on the roads are going to be. So that's pretty much the whole northern tier of our viewing area. It is quiet for now, so now's the time to clean off some of the snow that came yesterday because there is the next system. So let's put the timing out on this. As early as 6, 7 o'clock, places like OMAC, down through Wenatchee into Moses Lake. That's when the snow is going to start for you. We'll be waiting closer to 11 o'clock or midnight around Spokane and around Coeur d'Alene, but this is not going to last for too terribly long because a lot of warm air is going to come up from the south. And at least for the metro area, by the time we're getting up in the morning, we're talking about rain falling on slushy snow. So it's going to be a real snow cone as we go through Saturday morning, if you got Saturday morning plans. But those areas under that winter storm warning further to the north, not good. Not going to be a fun day at all 
as we head through the afternoon, things start to clear up a little bit. But this is kind of the general idea of what you could expect. Most of this for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene is going to fall overnight. So the impacts for your day on Saturday, a little bit less than what we saw in the evening commute last night. But those areas to the north, oh goodness, it is going to be a tough start to the weekend. So no surprise, we got a weather alert day for Saturday and then it gets cold and it stays cold. And by the time this time next week, we could be seeing single digits around much of the inland northwest. So winter is not slowing down. In oh fact, boy. it looks like it's speeding up. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh my God. Uh, yep. Matt, thank you so much. Well, we are closing in on Christmas now, just more than two weeks away. Four News Now and the Salvation Army want to make sure no one in our community goes without a gift under the tree this year. So you can drop off a toy today at any Spokane or Spokane Valley Fred Meyer store, and the Salvation Army will make sure it gets to someone in need. Gifts should be unwrapped, and you can even buy them right there at the store if you need to. You can shop for anyone from a newborn to a senior citizen. That toy drive is today. It starts at 9, and it goes until 6 o'clock. You can find more information and exact store locations on KXLY.com. All right, your morning sprint is coming up right after this. Don't go away. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Gamma Knife. It's beginning to look a lot like savings during the holiday sale at Furniture Row. Stop in today because everything is on sale. Plus, for years, no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. Happy holidays from Furniture Row. The big New Year's Eve party is at Chawila Casino with three sets of cash drawings. Play your favorite games to earn your entries for your chance to win your share of over $15,000 in cash prizes. And every Saturday, you could earn bonus entries just by playing with your Sun Club card. Party, play, and win on December 31st during our three sets of drawings. Dance in the new year with cash prizes at Chawila Casino. Learn more at ChawilaCasino.com. The Four News Now Extreme Team making spirits bright. Again this year, we'd like to thank Ace and Horizon Credit Union for lightening and brightening the lives of those kids and families who have to be in Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. The Four News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. I'm Chad Young from the Easy Home Buyer, and I pay cash for houses. If you own a house and want to sell it fast for cash, call us today for your no obligation as is cash offer. We buy houses in any condition, and there are no fees, no commissions, and no repairs. We buy houses with tenants, fixer uppers, bare land, even haunted houses. Woo! <laughs> call us today or visit us online at theeasyhomebuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy. The Christmas specials are rolling in this week to Dishman Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep with fantastic end-of-year buys on all Ram trucks and popular Jeep models, as well as big markdowns on all pre-owned SUVs and four-wheel drives. But the best offer is with every vehicle sold, you'll get a free big screen TV with the purchase, making it the perfect time to visit our family-owned dealership at Dishman. Dishman Dodge! Monster Jam. Don't miss a minute of the action. Tickets on sale now. Coming to Spokane Arena this weekend. Brought to you by BKT Tires. Tickets on sale now. Full throttle family fun. You have to see it live. So lock in your seats today at MonsterJam.com. It's the holiday sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a free $300 gift. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $279.99. Plus four years no interest with no down payment and free shipping. The holiday sale on now at Denver Mattress. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Just about 6.53, let's get you up to speed on everything you need to know for your Friday and the weekend in the Morning Sprint. Matt Gray here telling us about another round of snow headed our way. Sydney Charles with answers regarding the body camera footage released by Moscow Police. Uh, but roads are slushy and slick. Let's get right to Destiny Richards Live with what it's looking like out there. Yeah, we've been checking out Spokane and Spokane Valley this morning, and we can definitely say that there are varying levels of snow cover this morning. We're seeing areas that are bare and wet.
areas that have light layer slush and others that are snow covered. So it can change quickly depending on where you're at, but mostly main roads are looking better than side roads this morning. We have more snow on the way later tonight, so make sure you have that first alert weather app downloaded so you can plan and prepare to wherever you have to go today and into the weekend. Destiny, thanks. With the fresh snow, the Department of Transportation wants to remind you to slow down around snow plows. This truck was hit earlier this week, but it's being repaired and should be back on the road by early next week. The DOT says the plow was rear-ended while slowing down to turn. The driver of the pickup had minor injuries. When there is a weather alert day, don't forget, go to KXLY.com to check out the latest winter weather advisories as well as school closures and delays. Whatever you need to plan for your day, you can find it on KXLY.com. And speaking of weather alert day, we do have a weather alert day on Saturday for our northern communities. And basically that's everywhere north of Highway 2 all the way to the Canada border. Six to ten inches of snow. A lot of that going to be falling on Saturday morning and through the overnight tonight. It is going to be a very messy start to the weekend. Police have released body camera footage that now has many people asking questions related to the, to the investigation. Tips and leads have led detectives to a 2011-2013 white Hyundai Elantra, and in the new body camera footage, white vehicles are seen in the vehicle in the video. However, detectives say the nearby white vehicles are not related to the murders. And 4 News Now also asked about rumors circulating that the man seen in this video with Maddie and Maddie Mogan and Kaylee Gonsalves hours before they were murdered left the country without submitting DNA. Robbie Johnson with the Moscow Police Department told 4 News Now police could not comment on whether that information was factual or not. Police still ask everyone to look for the car and keep calling in tips as police track down leads and try to find a killer. There's been an arrest and a pair of armed robberies in the heart of downtown Spokane. Spokane police tell us they've arrested a juvenile in connection to both crimes, and they are now facing robbery and assault charges. Detectives say the first robbery was at Riverfront Park near the Blue Bridge on Howard Street, where the robbers used a gun. The second, 30 minutes later, on Main and Post. In that case, police say they used a knife to threaten the victim. Both the Downtown Spokane Partnership and SPD will double their security efforts in the weeks ahead. In light of these incidents, and also with more people downtown for the holiday season, the Downtown Partnership has extended its security ambassador hours until 8 p.m. on Wednesdays through Saturdays. SPD says their downtown officers will be spending more time walking through the riverfront area. Damaged outbuildings are all that's left at a property in East Spokane. The Spokane Fire Department says the fire was intentionally started by somebody Wednesday night. It happened just blocks from Camp Hope, and business owners nearby say they are dealing with a number of issues, from vandalism to break-ins. The Spokane Fire Department will review camera footage and follow up on tips in this investigation. Advocates of Camp Hope held a rally outside of Spokane City Hall. Organizers say the purpose was to stand up against the city and county as they wait for a decision from a federal judge to stop law enforcement from clearing the camp. The lawsuit filed against city and county would protect Camp Hope from a potential sweep, something law enforcement has been warning campers about this week. And as soon as we hear a decision from a federal judge, we'll let you know here on 4 News Now and on KXY.com. Spokane police have arrested two juveniles in connection to a series of gunshot burglaries. Spokane schools sent a note to middle school and high school parents this week warning that students may be involved. They say they are still looking for more suspects. All right, coming up next on Good Morning America, Brittany Griner back on U.S. soil this morning after her nearly 10-month ordeal in custody in Russia. Plus, ABC News talks to Paul Whelan's brother about the fight to bring the former Marine home. And the holiday lights will be bright tonight in the Manitou area. Tonight is your first chance to drive through or walk through and see the holiday lights for free. The drive through event starts at 6 o'clock and runs through 9.30 every night through Monday. Then from December 13th through the 18th, you can walk through between 5 and 8 p.m. Back with a full check of weather with Matt Gray right after this quick break. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. We were scrambling to figure out what are we going to do. Got a phone call from Numerica. We've got funding that we're sending your way. 
Thank you so much for all your support. It actually means something greatly to us. Tis the season for the savings as Walker's Furniture launches their year-end clearance now, just in time for Christmas, with some of the biggest savings of the year. Big store-wide discounts on in-stock models and overstock items to make this holiday one to remember. Plus, you can take advantage of no minimum purchase, no money down, and no interest financing for up to five years. So you can feel the magic of Christmas and pay for it later during the year-end clearance sale at Walker's. The doctor will see you now. But do they really? Do they see all that you are? <laughs> At Kaiser Permanente, all of us work together to care for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. Taking a look out over downtown Spokane. It's going to be a cloudy day. It's going to be a cool day. It'll be a little bit of a slushy day out there on the roads as well. Now, today is going to be mostly calm, but as we head into Saturday, a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, and in fact, for our northern counties, a lot of snow. That's why Saturday is a weather alert day. All right, Matt, thanks so much. Yeah. Do be careful out there this morning for sure. And also, if you're going to Christmas parties or yes. doing some Christmas yeah, shopping yeah. this weekend, also make sure you drive carefully. So here's the script toss for you on this Friday. Everybody, make it a great weekend. It's, like it's snowing the holiday already. season. We'll see you throughout GMA. It starts now.